Today, I'm going to be drawing Danny DeVito in nine different art styles. But what if I didn't? What if instead of nine styles, I drew him in seven billion styles? I mean, what if we're all Danny DeVito? One consciousness experiencing ourselves subjectively through the temporary lens of a single human life. And what if within that single human life, you find yourself staring at your phone, watching video after video after video. And maybe the mind that you're watching all these videos with is split into three parts. The first part is watching this particular video, numbing yourself from whatever it is that's chasing you. It craves distraction, because in the second part, sits a sadness. This is the kind of sadness that looks around and wonders, is this all there really is? It longs for something it can't quite define. It feels nostalgic about a childhood straight from a sitcom. All it wants is two parents, a golden retriever, pizza on the way and The Simpsons on TV. It's 1998 and everything's okay. But it isn't 1998, it's 2020 and everything's not okay. Not just in the world, but in your life. You're drowning in bills, responsibilities, and you can't quite understand why you don't have everything figured out by now. You know you shouldn't compare yourself to your friends, but you do. You want a house, but that's kind of off the cards for your generation. So maybe you want to do your own thing, but what does that even mean? There's a part of you that wants to solve climate change and feed the hungry and make the world into the utopia you once thought possible, but you open your phone and all you see is death, destruction, and a world competitively running towards nowhere in particular. God, is this what Danny DeVito goes through? Or is he happy? Why is this part of you so anxious? You pause. You're hoping by now you'd see Danny DeVito drawn in the style of Dr. Seuss. Not today. Not now. The third part of your mind knows that this is somehow better though. Instead of distraction, it craves connection. This part is the real Danny DeVito. It's the real you. It's all of us at the same time. It's the objective singular consciousness that has and will exist forever. This part of you knows that we're all the same being. And to divide us into individuals is to ignore the fact that we have never been apart. Was this what you felt before you were born? And what about when this meat puppet eventually dies? The idea is that you got you have a little fun in the middle. And then what, Danny? Then what? Do I get buried? Do I go to heaven? Perhaps we just revert back to the whole, the divinity that sits behind these decorative human layers. The one, the only, the singular consciousness that at some point was Danny DeVito. So if you need to see him in a different style, look in the damn mirror. It's you. You are Danny DeVito, drawn in the most unique and beautiful style there ever was. And finally, Dr. Seuss. Real expressive body, whimsical lines, bringing lots of cross-hatching. And look at that. We got what we wanted in the end. Have a lovely day.